Hello, this is Alchemist 2 again, back with a, another movie review. Um, last night I saw The Hurt Locker on DVD, and it was uh, a bit different than other movies I had seen. It was grittier, darker, and more realistic. And personally, it gave me a lot more respect for the people that are fighting for freedom over in Iraq and Baghdad and those other areas that are uh, full of conflict and turmoil. But it was uh, it was intriguing. There were some parts that were kind of slow, but it gave you uh, insight as to what the soldiers actually see, what they face on a daily basis there. And uh, some of it was a little bit difficult to watch because. Uh, I had never really known what uh, those soldiers actually go through, and personally, I think that uh, the Heart Locker depict these things, uh, depicted these things uh, <laughs> unbelievably well. And I wouldn't say this was a, a perfect movie because it was a little long for my like liking. But um, as far as uh, movies go, I I really thought that it was uh, factual. Realistic. Uh, it didn't really have all those Hollywood special effects, and it didn't um, make war. It didn't glorify war. It actually showed war for what it is, which is hell. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it was. Um, some of it was kind of uh, hard to watch because uh, it was pretty uh, violent, and, well, you know, it's war, so what do you expect? And um, just seeing the reactions of the soldiers with each other, um, I thought that was an interesting dynamic as well. And I was reading something on the internet yesterday about a possible sequel to this film, which which could very well be done because of the ending. They they leave it wide open for that, and I won't say why. But um, you know, as as far as uh, film goes, I I really thought the the desolation, the destruction, uh, it was just spot on because uh, of course this is a desert. And you basically have to survive by your wits, and water is a <laughs> commodity and uh, convenience and just uh, one of those things that you take for granted when <laughs> you live in a place that's green and full of vegetation and lushness and life. It's just a stark contrast, I thought. And... Um, I don't know if anybody who has uh, actually been in Iraq has seen this film. If they have, they would probably uh, not be able to sleep for a few nights because it, it actually showed uh, some of the experiences that were <laughs> that were really uh, hard for me to view. And I'm thinking a lot of soldiers who come back suffer from PTSD. I wouldn't be surprised because it's just <laughs> it's horrible what what they have to go through and I I tip my hat to them really um, if you're interested in war or um, just the whole concept of uh, Iraq in general the, the culture or anything like that I would definitely recommend this film to give you a better understanding of what our soldiers actually go through. Uh, all in all, I give this movie three out of four stars because, as I said before, it's a, it's a little long, and there are some parts that are kind of a lull. But that's done for suspense's sake, and I actually liked that. And um, it's uh, it's very uh, very uh, dark, and uh, just uh, I like the whole. Uh, the whole fact that they didn't sugarcoat it, that they don't have to. Um, so I would I would have to recommend this film. I, 
I actually enjoyed it. I was surprised that I did, but I like movies about war anyway, even though I don't support war or uh, endorse it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, this movie is uh, true in, in how it shows uh, war as hell, basically. Um, I will be doing another review later on tonight of uh, Tyler Perry's uh, Daddies of Girls, so that'll be a little bit more lighthearted, I think. So, see you then.